Hey everybody, welcome back to my All Pro Football Editor tutorial series. This tutorial is going to be about the basic controls and navigation inside of the all new All Pro Football Editor. So let's go ahead and open up a season file because this is going to give us the most options. And we'll walk you through the basic controls here so you kind of get an idea of how to how to work your way around the editor and use it. So one of the first things you're going to notice about the editor are the grids. Okay. These are very important because they allow you to manipulate the data. And in here, the basic things that you're going to want to make sure that you understand are how to sort and filter. So if you want to sort by any name, you can do so. Any column, any column that has this arrow drop down basically you can go ahead and and filter out and find your player okay if you want to filter by a let's just pick a name that's probably common we'll see well still only one but if we go to all of the players and let's say we want to filter by Allen so you're going to get more than one and then what you'll see on the bottom here is a number of records that you have filtered by. This shows you the current amount of records on the screen when you're in the filter mode. See if I go away from the filter mode and we do all, then that goes away. And when we go back into it, you're gonna see one out of 1344 records found. If you click show all, it will clear out all of your filters. So that's very important. And you can also filter by multiple um, columns. The ones that have the arrows, as I mentioned, are the ones that you're going to want to filter by. So if I only want to see the halfbacks, I can do that. If we only want to see half, uh, free safeties, period, you can do it that way. So filtering and sorting is very important and the grids work very quickly. Um, if you want to look at all the data and sort it, it sorts very quickly, very fast. Um, these have been highly optimized to give you the data that you need. You also have brand new columns in here that are new to the editor, which we will get into later. Um, but this is your main content area. So a lot of these screens have different types of um, content. And this content area is where you're going to be doing all your work. There's no more pop-ups. There's no more uh, like in the old editor where you pop up and open an, an editor inside of an editor. This is all typically done inside of here. The only exception are pop-up messages. Okay. So this content area shows you the meat of the application. Um, and these grids are very important to understand because they all work very similarly. Okay. You have the drop downs, you have the ability to sort etc. Um, so that's your content area and everything is being saved dynamically when you make changes. Okay. Saved inside of the file here, but actually to save the file, you're going to want to do it here. So let's talk about the file uh, menu while we're here. Uh, whenever you want to do a save or a load or a close or save as, you're going to want to use the file menu to do so. So this is your basic um, only way to save a file. The navigation up here is something that is new, where if you click on home, it will take you to the team screen. And if you click back, it will take you to the previous screens that you were viewing. Um, it doesn't go to every single screen because it depends on what you're using. Uh, like if you're looking at five different players, for instance, if we go to the player editor and we come back and we go to the player editor again, I believe it, what it will do is it will just take you back to the roster screens. Okay, so it takes you back to these menu screens back and forth, just like a browser would. So if you're like, hey, where was I a minute ago? And if you're editing, let's just say you're editing Harper and you want to go back, you need to go to these screens here and then hit back and it will take you back to where you were. So these are pretty cool because it kind of guides you through. This section here is your team menu. Okay, you can left click or you can right click and you'll get to the same menu. Clicking on any one of these will change the team. Um, and then depending on what, you're, what screen you're on, um, it will be on the right side if uh, you're in the coach editor screen, for instance. So keep that in mind. 
You also have this header here. So we'll walk through that. Every screen, almost every screen has a header and the header you have detailed information about that, that screen that you're on. Okay, so um, not much here, just information that tells you a little bit about what, um, you know, what you're viewing. And we'll get into more detail for each screen, but I wanna just show you that this is just a header to give you more detail. Search, if you wanna search for a player, or a team, or um, whatever, you can do so through the search here and it will search for that player. Okay, so at any moment, if you're looking for a certain team or a certain player, you can type in anything, just like you would in Google, and it will search for that term. Okay, um, that's your search. We'll probably get into some of that later as well. Um, Let's see, what else? So side panel. The last one we'll go through here is your side panel. This is where your main menu items are. And each one, you can look at a tool tip that tells you what you're looking at. You can also go into full screen mode. And in full screen mode, you can click on this hamburger icon and it will expand the menu and it will show you all the different menu names um, if you want to get a bigger view. In full screen mode, you actually have the most um, display area, so you can do a lot of editing and viewing from here, and it's very nice when you have the grids. So I do recommend full screen mode, um, but just keep in mind some of the screens might look a little small because there's not really a lot of room for information that I'm taking, right? Um, one thing also to note, last thing to note is that this, uh, restore and maximize these buttons here, they, this all pro football editor only comes in two resolutions. It comes in the default size here and the full screen mode. Okay. So if you're having an issue viewing the editor and it's not working well on your laptop or PC then you're probably going to want to change your display settings and your resolution on your computer to get a better view. So that's it. That's everything um, at a high level for the new All Pro Football Editor and ways to um, navigate and look through and, and use a system. And we'll be back with more detailed tutorials as we move forward. Thanks for watching.